All right, guys, so Merca came in here, and you guys know that they're in the business of uh, abrasives, and they also have the vacuum system for the sanders. So they came in here, and they actually have a lot more uh, products than I actually thought they had. So I haven't seen Merca in many, many years, and uh, they decided to come around and let us try out some of their stuff. So that's what we're going to do here for the next couple of weeks. I got some of their stuff and we're gonna try it out. So we'll do some videos on some of the stuff they have, but I'm gonna show you here what we've got so far. That way you guys can uh, stay tuned and uh, see which ones you guys wanna watch. So these guys are actually making the uh, paint cup system. So they have a system that's almost like the PPS and uh, it's a quality system and they got all the adapters just like all the other companies do. So. This is supposed to save quite a bit of money, uh, you know, versus the other systems that are out there. So not only are they making cups, but they also have the, the, the pads that look like the sky pads and then the Norton ones that we were using in a, a couple of videos ago that I showed you guys. Along with different scotch brights for the DA and different foams. They got a cool blending foam. And this is a thinner foam that almost is like when you do the fold tape on your jam so we'll try that out in a couple of videos they got the lift tape and they even have a uh, different kind of uh, masking here that you can fold back and use this in jams and stuff so some stuff to try out and uh, definitely you know see what it'll do because they say it'll definitely save the shops a lot of money so this may be a good system for you guys at the house with these Merca cups because they say they're a lot more affordable than the uh, PPS and some of the other systems out there. So let's go ahead and shoot these two cars that we got today. And they're also making plastic too. So they have a nice uh, plastic here. It's treated for the overspray. That way you can paint this side and all the overspray sticks on it. So I like the gauge of it. It's not real thin and it's a uh, quality plastic. So we tried out their plastic on this here Tesla and it's uh, so far I like it so they make different sizes for the trucks and then the cars so let's go ahead and get ready and shoot this one here and see what we get for these blue and these reds on these Tesla all right so I have changed up one of my routines and that's using the wet bed so I started using the wet bed a lot more here at this shop because on these higher end vehicles there's a lot more wax and silicones and you guys know that I showed you in one of the videos how it'll stop that but I did reach out to PPG and they say that it will not yellow or darken the panel. So we've been using more of the wet bed and it uh, works out well. So we have it sealed now and I'll show you. I'm going to go in there now and, and do the wet bed on it. And you guys will see it turn blue and then it'll uh, come back to its normal color once this stuff dries. So I have used it in the past and uh, when it's needed. To me, it really isn't needed on every job, but when you need it, it definitely works well. So let's go show you that and then we'll move into our color. You see that little guy that got in there and we got him out and uh, that'll settle down now that water base flattens out nice so it's kind of good that he landed in that while it was only the water base because that'll settle down and there won't be any print marks from that little bug being in there but we're gonna move into our uh, base now and uh, when I get to the clear I'm gonna let you guys in on how I'm doing my clear now so I've changed it up from the last video when I was using the straight 98 and uh, once we get into the clear, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing now. Cause I want that clear to set up a little bit quicker than with that 98 straight. So let's go ahead and base it out. And then I'll let you guys know what I'm doing with the clear now.
All right, so here's what I'm doing now with my clear coat and my gun set up. I'm changing my gun to a 1.3 from a 1.4 because this is a higher solids clear and I wanna break this clear up more than I used to with the uh, CC200 because that's a medium solid clear. So I stepped down to a 1.3 on the needle and head and I'm actually cocktailing the 98 and the 95 reducer together with that 1.3, it's really working out well. So I wanna clear that'll set up. And with that 98, with that real very hot reducer, this stuff is staying open for a long time. And uh, you guys know that we're all about production. So with doing the 1.3 and cocktailing the clear, it's working out well. So that's what we're gonna do on this one. We're gonna use the 1.3 with the LPH and uh, clear it with a cocktail of the reducer. So let's do that and I'll show it to you finished up. All right guys, so that's the combination now. We're using the 1.3 with the cocktail, uh, a little bit more 98 than the 95 reducer. And being I'm putting down a smaller droplet, we're eliminating that pop, but we're also getting it to kick quick with that 95 reducer. So to me, that's a good combination. We don't have the pop, it snaps quicker, and we can get these cars in and out of these booths and we can get them delivered if we have to. So you wanna be able to use a clear that you can build and uh, get cars out, not just uh, hold on to them to the next day. So that's our goal here. So, so stay tuned to the next video as we go over some of this Merca product and see how they have definitely gotten better through the years. So I used to use some of their stuff and wasn't really that impressed back then, but I do believe this is a, a whole new product line and it's definitely nice stuff. So we'll be checking into it and stay tuned.